Hello everybody, this is Gun Sage yet again, and um, <clears throat> I've got another, I, I don't know if I would necessarily call it a rant, but I guess I'm going to lump it into that. Um, a lot of people like to talk about like alcohol addiction and addiction to different drugs um, and, and weird, you know, various weird addictions. Um, you know, addicted to cigarettes. I'm a, uh, yeah, I'm a caffeine addict. Um, now, a lot of people don't really take that seriously because it's like, so? Everybody drinks caffeine every day, all the time. Come on, man, I drink a pot of coffee a day. And that's good for you? See, the with cigarettes, you can't smoke inside of buildings anymore. They pretty much outlawed that. Uh, with alcohol, I mean, obviously you, you can't or at least shouldn't drink on the job. Uh, if you come into work drunk, it's going to be fairly obvious and you're probably going to be sent home or even fired. But the way caffeine works, it's just an accepted thing. Oh, well, you know, I gotta have my monster energy drink on the way in. Yeah. When I say I'm addicted to caffeine, um, here's what I mean. First of all, it, it probably it probably doesn't help that when I was a kid, and, and by kid I mean less than 10, when I first started drinking soda. And uh, I was never really told now, you know, be be, uh, you know, don't drink a lot of it. Just have like one can or, you know, whatever. No, I would, I would order soda every time I would go out. And uh, I got, I mean, the, the, the higher the caffeine content, the better, because I, I got to the point where I was drinking this foul concoction referred to as Mega Jolt. I don't even know if it's still around anymore, but it was supposed to have double the caffeine of standard cola. And I would just, I'd drink it like water. I didn't care. There'd be times where I would take, uh, I'd take out a whole, a whole case of like wild cherry Pepsi in a day. And, you know, when you're a kid, you don't, I mean, you're not drinking it to wake up. You're not drinking it because it'll help you calm down. Like, okay, for example, my son's been diagnosed with ADHD. I have ADHD as well. And if he has a little bit of caffeine, just a little bit, like, you know, maybe one soda or, you know, even some tea or something like that, it'll usually calm, it'll usually calm him down. Um, but obviously we don't let them drink soda all the time. In fact, we actively discourage it. You know, really the only soda that they will drink, very sparingly we will pick up the, um, the big K caffeine-free stuff. Like we'll get like strawberry soda or root beer or, you know, lemon lime or different stuff like that. Um, but they don't. They're not knocking back cola, you know. But when I say I'm addicted to caffeine, here's what I mean. A couple of years back, I made an article about caffeine addiction. And I, uh, I remarked that I just, you know, it's, it's not even that I need caffeine to function. Like, it's, it's not like, oh, man, I'm so tired on the way into work. I could get myself a coffee or whatever. It's just I'll be driving, and I'll go, man, I feel really thirsty. But not, like, thirsty for water. I want to hear the, the snap whenever I open the can. I want to feel the... The, the tingly bubbles rising out of the can, you know, tickling my mustache gently. 
I want to I want to have that sip and taste of carbonation. And not just any, it, it has to specifically these days be like Pepsi Max. Which don't get me wrong, at least it doesn't have any calories. At least it doesn't have any carbs. But it it has an overwhelming amount of caffeine in it because it, it supposedly <clears throat> has ginseng in it. I'm not sure how true that is. Because again, this is manufactured and processed. And of course, processed caffeine is way worse for you. Sorry, there's like a, a bug. Is way worse for you than say fresh ground coffee. Like this is this is one one thing I'll say. If you're gonna drink caffeine, you should probably go the route of you know, green tea, because that'll even help you wean yourself off of like coffee and different stuff like that. Like drinking different teas and then eventually going to green tea and then like herbal tea. So you, you get the same, you know, like hot water, you know, taste, uh, but you get these different flavors and, and, you know, different stuff going on with the different spices that are in there. A lot of which are actually really good for you. Like I personally recommend Yogi Tea. This isn't a, an endorsement or a paid endorsement by any means, uh, but I really like the Yogi Tea, um, like the Breathe Deep and, and different stuff like that. They had a St. John's Wort one for a little while, but I, I can't seem to find that anymore. Uh, <clears throat> which I guess St. John's Wort is uh, supposed to be like a mood balancer or something. Again, I, I don't know if that's a bunch of hooey or if it's factual, I, I really don't know, but that's what it's supposed to be. Um, anyway, back when I made that article, I tried. On, uh, on one of my first days off of the week, I tried to just, you know, just, just water, no caffeine. And uh, I was in a perpetual state of feeling like a zombie because I felt like I was just tired constantly. Um, and then the second day off, I went through a withdrawal. I, I started having bad headaches. I started, my, my, my mouth felt really super dry. I got really fucking irritable. And this is my day off. On my days off, I mean, I'll do, you know, videos and stuff like that. But mostly I'm kicking back and playing video games. Or just taking naps, getting, you know, random chores done here and there, but, you know, I'm, I'm not like, you know, I'm not storming through like all this crazy shit that I have to do on my days off. I, I, I make my days off days off. Because yes, there are errands and stuff that sometimes I can only do on my days off, but I do them at my pace. I'm not a very busy person. I'm a very lazy person. And I still get shit done, but... You know, I get it done at my pace. And, uh, I was just, I was snappy with everybody. I was constantly hungry, constantly thirsty, constantly irritable, constantly fucking headachey. And then whenever I went back to work, I was like, no, I, I can't fucking do this. And I went back to drinking energy drinks and shit. But the worst offender, of course, is the Pepsi Max. And look, um, Pepsi, I'm not saying that your product's a piece of shit. There are plenty of people that drink Pepsi every day and they get by just fine. I'm saying that in my scenario, I, I really can't afford to touch your product again. <clears throat> this is what I usually end up doing. Kroger's will usually have this sale on Pepsi Max where it's like a three for 11, like three cases for 11. Um, which is a good price because normally it's like uh, four or five dollars a case. So it's almost like getting a case free. And I'll take them up on that offer. What I'll usually do is I'll take all three and I'll put them uh, in the driver's side back seat in the floorboard. I'll just put them right there, reach around, grab one whenever I'm drinking, you know, drinking whenever I'm, I'm on the way to work, drinking on the way home, uh, maybe grabbing a few, for, you know, for while I'm at work, or even worse, whenever I was actively on the phones. I know this doesn't happen now. But when I was actively on the phones, I would bring in the case. Now, mostly so I could share with my coworkers, but also so I could just over and over and over again. To the point where I'd finish a case in a day, 
And remember, that's that's the extra fucking caffeinated shit. It's not even just normal Pepsi. It's like fucking Roid Rage Pepsi. You know? It's, it's fucking nuts. And it, again, that's that's not typical. That's not everyone. That's why I say caffeine addiction. Because there's a lot of people that they can't buy, get by without their morning coffee. You know, maybe they'll experience some of the caffeine withdrawal symptoms I have, but it's not as bad. It's just that your body is expecting something that, yoink, doesn't have it. So it, it doesn't know what to do, you know, and it reacts. And the worst feeling is thinking that you have all this control over your body. This, this control over your mind, your body, your willpower, all of this. You don't. You don't. I can't begin to tell you the amount of times that I've been on the way to work and I'm like, I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. And I'll still grab a soda. And the worst part is that's a gateway because if, you know, it's, it's like, well, why grab a soda? I mean, you know, if you're going to make it more cost efficient, you got to do the three for 11 deal. You, you got to do it. You got to save money. So this comes, you know, for even, even further to my compulsive tendencies, which is especially bad, where I just buy shit because, well, it's such a great deal. And it is a great deal if I drink one a day. If I'm drinking a case a day, it's not such a great deal, is it? So learn about, about pacing, Gun Sage, about moderation. Well, that, that's, that's the problem. Okay, if you buy a single cookie, right, you know you just have the one cookie. Maybe you'll save it, maybe you'll eat it right away, whatever. If you buy a pack of cookies, you can tell yourself, I'll just have the one. But if it's right there, and it's easily and readily accessible, and you can just grab it, you're probably going to have more than one. In fact, you're probably going to take out the whole fucking pack. And you'll probably do it in one sitting. So don't leave them in your car. Just, just you know... Take three with you a day, just three. Well, that's great. Until I drink two on the way to work and then one while I'm at work. Or I, just, I, I, I make progress and I don't drink one on the way in, but I drink all three throughout the course of the day at work because they're there. And then I don't have one for the way home. And now I'm, feeling, I'm actually feeling tired on the way home, so where I really would need one, I don't have one. So what do I do? I buy something for the way home. It's a mess. It's a fucking mess. But you know what? I thought I, got, I had gotten away from it. Um, I, I switched to green tea and that, I mean, I was in some cases taking out 10 cups of green tea a day, but it's green tea. It's, I mean, it, there's barely any caffeine in it and it's it's got you know antioxidants and a bunch of other shit that's good for you so i really didn't think it would be that big of a deal and i was doing all right and i was actually cutting down on the green tea you know really only using it whenever i just i was getting sick of drinking water basically and i was doing good i was doing real good and then um we had a site party about a month back and uh, this is around the time that I decided I was going to go ahead and start this keto diet. And so, you know, I was looking at all the soda and I'm like, well, can't have that. There's carbs in it. Oh, there's no carbs in Diet Coke. Oh, shit, I'll have me a Diet Coke. Psst. And then another. And then another. And then another. I think I had uh, six Diet Cokes that day. And they kept it in the back hallway. So, you know, every day on the way in and every day on the way out, I'd grab a Diet Coke. You know, even well after the site party was over. And then once that was gone, I was on my days off. I wasn't even thinking about soda. But I had to go to the laundromat 
and uh, I wanted something to drink, something that wasn't water. And that, that should have been my first clue to go, wait a minute, but I didn't. I thought about getting an energy drink, but I didn't see any that, that I would like or that would necessarily fit within my diet, so what did I do? I got three cases of Pepsi Max. And how long did they last? About six days. Now, to be fair, I did share some of them with my wife. Um, but yeah, I, I finished that first case in like two days. And even once I tried to get myself to slow down, it, it really didn't happen. Now, the good news is, um, I haven't done that again, but the bad news is, now I want to drink stuff that's not water. I want to drink, you know, zero carb, um, monster and zero carb, whatever, because it's something that's not water. And look, I drink a cup of coffee every morning. Just, you know, I, I go ahead and brew up a K-cup. Got one of those little custom K-cup things and I put the, uh, the um, off-brand Folgers into that and then I go ahead and have one. And the major reason for that is because, and this has been proven through um, a lot of different like men's fitness sites and magazines and stuff. One cup of coffee a day is beneficial to you. It, increases your metabolism early in the morning. It often causes you to have to go early in the morning too, which is good. Um, it provides you just enough caffeine with little to no side effects, um, especially since it's occurring in the morning. It will, because it's increasing your metabolism, also help you recover from soreness from workouts and things of that nature quicker. So often what I will do is I will drink that, give it about 30 minutes, and then go to the gym. And then whenever I'm done at the gym, you know, I do my, my, uh, my protein and, uh, you know, different stuff like that. I already explained this on my blog. Um, at some point, I'm going to go ahead and go back over the techniques that I use because I want to try to do sort of a winter fitness thing this year instead of a holiday special. Because I'll be completely honest, whereas I have... 200 plus games I could play for my horror special I might be able to come up with 10 more games for the holiday special I mean I, I would really need some uh, a lot of recommendations on what to play to continue doing my holiday special I think it would be better to kind of switch gears and do something else for that you know throughout the winter months The reason caffeine addiction is so dangerous, though, is it's already been proven that too much caffeine can really fuck you up. It can cause uh, heart problems, you know, jitteriness. Caffeine itself can cause irritability. Um, and of course, with people like me who have you know, ADHD, it doesn't necessarily affect me the same way it's going to affect most of everybody else. You know, for me, yeah, I, you know, a little bit of caffeine will calm me down and wake me up a little bit. But a lot of caffeine won't necessarily keep me awake. In many cases, it might actually overdrive my system and then I feel tired. It's just, <clears throat> it's really weird how it affects me. And, you know, I often wonder if maybe the reason why it affects me that way is because... I started drinking soda when I was so young. Just don't do it. There's so many better options. Oh, my kid won't do that. He doesn't like to eat anything green. I don't give a fuck. You gotta figure that out. If your kid is drinking soda, it's not because he got it from someone else. It's because you introduced it into his or her life. That's your problem. That's your fucking mess. What I'm saying is you need to stop it.
I don't. I don't think it's fucking normal. I forgot to write that down. Got my uh, workout journal here. Forgot to write down how many reps I did on that exercise. Good thing I remembered it off the top of my head. I'm not going to say caffeine's evil. I am going to say that we're a culture that is um, very much dependent and reliant on caffeine. Um, I mean, we. I mean, hell. Migraine formula. What do we got? We got an active ingredient. Yeah, caffeine, 65 milligrams, pain reliever, 8. Y you really can't get away from it. And I understand why it has its place in medicine, because it really can, you know, help you with headaches and things of that nature. But you have to wonder, well, is it helping you with headaches because your body has grown accustomed to caffeine? Or is it helping you with headaches because it really does have you know, medicinal purposes in small doses. I, I would like to believe it's the latter, but it'd be interesting to see a study on the former. But yeah, I, I think caffeine's really dangerous because there are really no limitations to caffeine. There are no, uh, no caffeine areas. Um, we're actively encouraged to have caffeine on a regular basis to help keep ourselves awake. Got to cram for that test. Wake yourself up. You're you're not a morning person. You got to down that whole fucking thermos right now. And we just let it go. We we never really address this as a, as a society. Yeah. I don't know. I know that in my case, I really need to just try to cut caffeine entirely out of my life. I need to switch entirely to herbal tea if I can, or, you know, maybe take green tea in, in rare cases. Um, you know, I don't mind yawning all the time because I can do things to fix it. I can, you know, take multivitamins and, and you know, stuff like that. Plus, I, I mean, I, I actually like Powerade. I just can't take standard Powerade right now. I have to do Powerade Zero, which um, they, they've got the powdered version of Powerade, but I don't think they, at least not at Microgers, I don't think they sell a, uh, a powdered version of the Powerade Zero. I wish they did because I would totally do that. You know, you get your, your electrolytes and B vitamins and shit. And that'll help keep you awake. But this is something that I think we need to address as a nation, as a society. And say, you know, kids shouldn't be drinking soda, definitely. That just, that leads to bigger fucking problems. You know, and I'm sure that's also uh, not helping as far as the obesity epidemic and diabetes and children and, and so on. But yeah. It's, it's kind of, for me, it's kind of fucking scary. So, I don't mean to be a downer. I mean, this is my day off, so I'm going to enjoy myself. But uh, I just wanted to post this real quick because it's something I've been thinking about for a little bit. Because it, it was like, man, it was just so easy for me to fall off the bandwagon again. I've been doing so good not drinking soda, and then suddenly here I am, soda in my hand every five minutes. It didn't take much. It really didn't. You know, soda, it's not destroying my life or the lives of those around me, like, you know, alcohol addiction can and, you know, drugs and, and things of that nature. But, well, I keep, I keep saying it's not, uh, implying it's not a drug. Caffeine is very much a drug. We just don't really, you know, we don't treat it like one. That's all. I don't know. Well, anyway, um, this has been thoroughly depressing, I'm sure. But one way or the other, I hope you enjoyed. As always, this is uh, Gun Sage, and uh, you stay awesome. <laughs>